Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video we're going to talk about departmental overhead rates and how they differ from plant-wide overhead rates and how plant-wide overhead rates can sometimes cause skew in your numbers. So if you need a review of plant-wide overhead rates check out accountinginfocus.com where I have a post on just how to calculate plant-wide overhead rates and how to apply them. So we're going to do a little bit of review in this one just so that we can talk about how plant-wide overhead rates can cause skew. So just like a plant-wide overhead rate, a departmental overhead rate is going to be calculated based off of estimated numbers at the beginning of the year. Now if you notice in the information that we have here, I have two different departments. I've got the cutting department and the sewing department. The total cost for both departments is $1,036,000 and both departments use direct labor hours and machine hours. So if you remember to calculate the rates, to calculate a predetermined overhead rate, that equals estimated overhead divided by estimated activity. Okay, now I have two different activities here, so I could use direct labor hours or I could use machine hours. So let's actually calculate both to see what the rates would look like. So I've got, let's see, I've got two rates. So I'm going to, I'm going to do 1 million 36,000 divided by, we'll do the direct labor hours first, so let's do 120,000 direct labor hours and that equals $8.63 per direct labor hour. I highly recommend that you label your numbers so that way you know what you use to calculate this and when you apply it you know that you use direct labor hours and so when you apply it you're going to use direct labor hours. Let's also calculate based on machine hours so 1 million 36,000 divided by my total machine hours are 80,000 and that equals $12.95 per machine hour. Now if you notice that's a huge difference between the two rates and so we're going to see as we go through the calculations that this causes skew in our jobs. So let's take a look at job number one. Job number one uses a total of 70 direct labor hours and 85 machine hours. So if I was going to apply these rates to job number one, remember these are plant-wide overhead rates, I would take $8.63 per direct labor hour times the number of direct labor hours which is 70 hours direct labor hours so that would give me a total cost of six hundred forty dollars and ten cents worth of overhead now I could also use remember we use the machine hour rate so I could use either of these depending on which one the company thinks is more important. So let's try doing it with the machine hours instead. 12.95 per machine hour times the number of machine hours which is 85 and that equals, well this is a huge difference, $1,100.75. There's a huge difference between those two numbers. So which one is better? I don't know. Let's go through and let's calculate departmental rates and see what we get. So departmental rates means that we're going to calculate one rate for each department. So imagine that these are almost two separate companies and we're going to kind of draw a line and break this out and we're going to treat these as these are two completely separate departments and if you notice in the sewing department 
the sewing department seems to rely a lot more on direct labor hours and the cutting department relies more on machine hours. So I'm going to use, for the cutting department, I'm going to use machine hours and for the sewing department, I'm going to use direct labor hours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate two separate rates. So I'm going to calculate one for cutting and I'm going to calculate one for sewing. And this is where labeling becomes really important because I'm using a different driver for each department. So I'm going to make sure that I label these numbers so that when I apply it to the job, I use the correct driver. So cutting, I'm going to take the cost of the cutting department divided by the machine hours for the cutting department and that is going to give me a rate of five dollars and eleven cents per machine hour. For the sewing department, I'm just going to take the cost of the sewing department, the six hundred seventy eight thousand, and I'm going to divide that by ninety thousand and that is going to equal seven dollars and fifty three cents per direct labor hour. Okay, so now let's use let's use job one's information to apply these rates. Okay, so for job number one I'm going to take five dollars and eleven cents per machine hour times the number of machine hours that were used, so that was eighty times eighty and that equals four hundred eight dollars and eighty cents. I'm going to need to add to that because remember that's just for the cutting department, right? So those eighty hours are just for the cutting department. So now I also have to do the sewing department. The sewing department is based on direct labor hours, right? Because our rate is per direct labor hour. So I'm going to take seven dollars and fifty three cents per direct labor hour see that's why I like labeling these right because then I don't really have to think about it times 40 hours and that is equal to three hundred one dollars and twenty cents now because one is for cutting and one is for sewing I need to add these together to get the total cost so if I add these together the total overhead cost is seven hundred ten dollars even total overhead. Okay, so if you notice, if you compare this to these two, right, because this is basically for the same job, so my 710 kind of falls somewhere in the middle, right? So this is giving me a more exact figure because I'm applying the cutting department based on what's important to the cutting department, which is the machine hours. In the sewing department, I'm using what's more important in the sewing department, which is direct labor hours. So this is giving me a much more accurate calculation than my predetermined overhead rate would. Okay. So now let's take a look at the second job. Okay. So let's go back. We'll go back to original color here for predetermined overhead rate. Let's do job number. So for job number two. Okay, we can apply it both ways. So I'm going to take 863 per direct labor hour times total number of direct labor hours, which is 55. And that is equal to $474.65. Or I could use machine hours. Now remember a company has to pick one or the other. They can't, you know, go back and forth between the two. But for illustration purposes, I want to show you the difference that this is going to make per machine hour times 19 machine hours. And that is equal to $246.05. So again, that's a really big difference between those two numbers. So let's see what happens if we use the departmental overhead rates instead. So I already have my rates, so I don't need to calculate them again. So for job number two, 
Okay, so I've got $5.11 per machine hour and I'm using 10 machine hours, right? So the rate tells me what I'm going to go searching for. So for the cutting department, I've got 10 hours. So that is equal to $51.10. And then for the sewing department, I've got $7.53 per direct labor hour. And I've got 50 direct labor hours. So you notice this job is really skewed towards sewing, where the last job was really skewed towards cutting. So I've got $7.53 per direct labor hour times, I should probably write in the number of hours. We'll write that in getting ahead of myself there for a second. So excited about departmental overhead rates. Okay, so times 50 hours and the total on that is $376.50. Remember since I've got two departments I need to add them together. So the total cost, the total overhead cost for job two is four hundred twenty seven dollars and sixty cents and that makes sense for this one right because <clears throat> so if you think about it this job is very labor heavy right so it makes sense that the cost is closer to what we got for the calculation using direct labor hours but notice it's it's lower right because there are some machine hours the rate for machine hours is lower okay so and then if you look at the first job, the first job relied more on machine hours, right? But it still had a significant number of sewing hours. Okay, so we kind of fell somewhere in the middle between these two. Okay, so that is how you apply departmental overhead rates. That is how you calculate your departmental overhead rates. Remember we did that up here. Okay. So once you have your rates, then you can apply them to all your jobs. Those rates are not going to change. So with, remember, predetermined overhead rate, we're using one rate and the total number of hours, whether it's direct labor hours or machine hours, depending on what the company picks. With the departmental rate, you're going to calculate a rate for each department, and then you're going to apply that rate to each department using the driver that you used in the calculation. That's why it's important to label your rates. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, please like it, please share it, leave comments. I love comments, especially if you're having trouble. I'd love to help you with it. And don't forget to visit accountinginfocus.com, which is a website that has additional resources, additional explanations on how to do common um, accounting tasks. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.